Well, the iPhone 13 is finally here. But should you buy it or should you wait? Let's find out. Well, Apple, Apple, Apple. I really feel you people should have waited for the iPhone 14 to be launched as iPhone 13. I mean, giving an exact copy of iPhone 12 as iPhone 13. Only the base model has a difference on the back. The Pro models are absolutely similar. I mean, you cannot tell a difference between an iPhone 12 Pro or an iPhone 13 Pro. But you still claim that the cameras can do much better great so here's my thoughts if this is going to be your first iphone they have given you cinematic mode and they claim that you can take videos up to the cinema level and you do get pro resolution video which is only on the pro models and at last you do get an adaptive refresh rate which they claim as pro motion so these are the only facts why you should consider but i would suggest you to wait why because i still don't see a fast charging i mean 20 watt charging on the 13 series still 20% lesser notch doesn't make any difference. I mean, the notch is still there. And the adaptive refresh rate is only on the pro models, not on the base models. Why do you do this? Two people claim A15 chip to be the best in the market and you still couple it up with 4 GB or 6 GB of RAM. You would think that a higher RAM would make it much more smoother and much more efficient. Apple iPhone 14 leaks are already on the internet and it's being rumored around. So that is why I think you should wait for it. If you want to go for the iPhone 13, I would suggest you to go for the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Pro Max, not the base model. Although the base model comes with a standard 128GB, which is a good thing, but you don't, don't get the Pro Resolution video feature there, you only get the cinematic mode. I would say the only model which would justify the money you're paying is the Pro. You do get a telephoto lens, you do get cinematic mode, you do get 120Hz refresh rate Pro Resolution video, which you do not get in the base model. And if you're going for the Pro model, I would suggest you to buy a 256 GB model because Pro Resolution video only shoots 1080p when it is 128 GB or lesser model. If you want it to shoot at 4K 30 FPS, well 256 GB is the variant to go. Well, I've come up with one new storage on the Pro model is that you can extend it up to 1 terabyte. But again, even though you have 1 terabyte, you cannot shoot 8K videos on Apple. Why? Because all the sensors what they've given, all the camera sensors what they've provided you is just 12 megapixels. And in order to shoot a 8K video, you do need at least a camera sensor with 33 megapixels. So that is where it is. If you want to go ahead and buy it, well, I would suggest you to go ahead and buy the Pro model. So that's all my review about the iPhone 13. Hope this should help you take a calculative decision. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.